can I say, man? Today is finally the day. Saturday, September 4th, 2021. Today is finally the day that I've been telling y'all I've been waiting for it, man. It is game day. As you can see, I got everything laid out, but really, I don't have much to say, man. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of dedication that brought me to the day, and I just can't believe I'm here, man. It's game day, man. For those of you that know my story and know everything I've been through with the sport of football, man, to make it to a college game day, man, a place, a day that a lot of people told me I wouldn't make it to, that a lot of people doubted, it's just a blessing for me. And I just thank God for putting me in this position. And I thank God for allowing me to play the sport that I love. Because a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they, you know, they don't see it through. They quit. But, you know, I never quit. I always worked hard. And it's brought me to today. What's good, Certified Gang? It's your boy, Keiko. And I'm back with another video. Back with another banger. And I just woke up, man. And like I said, it's game day. You feel me? I'm going to be locked in today. So I apologize if the vlog ain't super funny. And this is that, man. I'm locked in, bro. Compton College Football versus East Los Angeles College Football, man. It's going to be a good game. And um, I woke up early in the morning. I already took a shower. I'm already ready, man. I just got to pack everything up. As you can see, I got my jersey, pants. Got my girdle. Some cutter, white, all white cutters, man. Got my helmet, my visor on that John Next trim mouthpiece. Under Armour cleats. And then I got my shirt over there. Um, I got some leg sleeves right here as well. And then uh, in the car, I got some uh, turf tape that I'm going to be putting on. But it's 5 in the morning. Um, I, it's 5 in the morning, man. We, we got to be at the school in a couple hours. And, um, yeah, I'm going to just bring you guys along for this game day vlog. So I'm going to pack everything up. Like I said, it's game day, man. It's a blessing to be here. All of you guys that still are able to play the sport you love, whether it's at high school, middle school, college, if you go to the league, whatever you do, man, it's a blessing to be here. So you got to be thankful for that. So I just want to thank God for this day. I want to thank God for everything he's put in front of me. Leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow me on IG. We're going to get straight into it, man. My first ever game day vlog, man. So like I said, man, we're going to pack everything up. I'm going to put it into my Compton bag right now. I don't know if they're going to give us bags when we get to the school or whatever, but basically how the itinerary works is we're going to uh, get to the school. We're going to be able to get taped and everything like that. Like if you need your wrist tape, your ankle tape, things like that. And then basically we having like a team breakfast. And then uh, after that, man, we're going to be heading to ELAC. And uh, from there, it's all preparation. Like I said, I'm going to be super locked in today. So I'm sorry if this vlog ain't super, super funny. Anything like that, man. This is y'all first time being able to see. Like, I don't know if any other Juco football players um, got YouTube channels. But for a lot of y'all, this is y'all first time being able to see what a, a Juco football game is like. You feel me? So I'm about ready uh, to leave the house in a few minutes. I'm just going to eat me a little something. Even though we having a team meal, I just want to make sure I'm fueled in the right way. And do my pregame rituals like, like I like to do. You feel me? Um, today's game is at Elex. So it's an away game for us. Um, so we're going to be at their crib. And like I said, man, it's just time to lock in. This is what a lot of hard work and dedication has put me into. So we finna um, leave in a few minutes and head to Compton. And then, uh, yeah, I will catch y'all guys. Catch you guys when I'm in the car and on the way. I guess before we hit the car, I'm going to show you guys some snacks that I'm bringing. You feel me? Nutri-Grain bars, some fruit snacks, some granola bars, and some crackers, bro. I ain't bringing nothing too crazy. This is something I could snack on just in case, you know what I'm saying? Before the game, I need a little sugar rush or any time during the game, man. I'm just bringing these and going to put these in my bag just so I have them. And just like that, we left the house. Uh, I got family coming to this game. I got friends coming to this game. So, you feel me? We really going to try to show out, man. But like I said, man, it, like I always say, man, if you guys are watching me, if you see me doing this, you can do it too. Feel me i'm just like you i'm not any more special than you i'm not any more better than you anybody can do this man all you got to do is just all you got to do is just be focused on what you want to do in life man this life is so short do not let anybody tell you what you can and you can't do you feel me because even today me being here man i'm beating the odds man like i know if you know my story but if this is your first time watching me 
Um, I play corner uh, at Compton, and uh, I will be starting today. The reason I say today is, like I say, you always got to remain humble because just because you're given something does not mean it can't be taken from you. So, man, I'm going to head to this car, and then we're going to be on the way to Compton, man. So, y'all, I'm going to try to lock in during this car ride. But one thing I like to do, you know what I'm saying, on game day or any day really is just, you know, have some positive affirmations. And what I mean by that is, you feel me, what you think in your head is literally going to be, you know, your reality. You feel me? So if you think positively before a game or before performing or anything like this, man, usually positive things will happen for you. You know what I'm saying? So what I like to do is I like to, you know, search up on YouTube some Steve Harvey motivation, man, a really motivational person that I look up to really successful people. I, I listen to their motivational speeches, man, and it really gets me in the right mindset for game day. I don't really start listening to music or nothing like that until, you know what I'm saying, it's really time to get, get active and really get on the field. So that's what we're going to do, man. I, I'll let y'all tune in to a little bit of it, but I like I said, I like to lock in, man. This is really me, my time with God, and my time with myself right now. So Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just got to quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're going to see exactly why it went that way. And you're going to be okay with it. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. He going to fix it. First of all, let me tell you this right here. Why are you tripping? I look back on my life at all that I've been through. So the stuff I'm currently going through I have built up enough reservoir that living in the car taught me that this ain't it. If you want to perform well, you got to put good stuff in your body. So I stopped by the gas station, grabbed me an apple, a banana, got me some water, and some electrolyte. You feel me? Some electrolyte. You can drink like, hold on, let me turn the camera around. You can drink like Pedialyte. Um, a lot of y'all bigger programs, the bigger schools, you know, y'all got y'all certain stuff that y'all drink. Like some of y'all trainers and stuff got certain drinks that we can drink, but we basically on our own for that um, at Compton College. So I'm going to continue my way. Like I said, I'm going to lock in. Y'all probably not going to hear from me until I hit campus. So it's, t it's, it's time to get right, man. It's time to get right. You got to start early and be prepared, man. Preparation, nervous, being scared and fear that comes from being unprepared, man. Um, I, I feel like I'm prepared for this situation, so I fear nothing. People starting to pile in now. And like I said, we waiting to get uh, taped and then breakfast, all of that. Locked in, bro. Guy was in breakfast that Breakfast burritos <laughs> for the pregame meal, breakfast burritos, man, sausage and bacon. Blessed to even be able to have a meal before uh, the game. But right now we wait until we can get taped up. I'm about to get my wrist taped, my ankles taped, and uh, some turf tape. So uh, that's what we're waiting for. I'll show you all the buses and stuff later. Taped up, man. Don't make fun Ooh. of my toes, man. Taped up, though. Got the wrist tape, got the turf tape on. We got to get taped early because, like I said, it's a away game. We're going to be at ELAC crib. So we got to get taped before we get to the uh, stadium or whatever. But we got to, uh, let me show you guys the bus. Those are the buses we taking, man. This is how Compton is riding to the game, man. Nice buses. Nice buses. But like I said, man, we waiting around. It's about 8.30 right now. We about to head out and start. Uh, going to ELAC at 9.15, bus leave, you feel me? So everybody getting ready, everybody getting taped up. Some people locked in, some people eating breakfast. I ain't ate yet. Uh, I'm saving my fuel, you feel me? So. We're on the bus with it now. We're to make this trip, man. I think everybody can along. This trip, bro. It's time to lock in and get ready for this bus ride, man. It's about 9 o'clock right now. Game time's at 1.
we in their locker room. I got a few clips of their stadium on my Instagram. I'm putting them in the video, but like I said, it's time to lock in, y'all. Alright y'all boys man, we gotta have a conversation man And for those of you who came out to the game If you did come out to the game, I appreciate you um, If you watched the game online, I appreciate you And if you tuned into the game and you know anything about it The score is not pretty We got our asses whooped, I'm not gonna lie to y'all man we, we got our asses whooped But it was a much needed ass whooping And I know a lot of y'all that's watching You're gonna be like, hey Kiko, are you still gonna post this? Like why would you post this? This is still still embarrassing and all that but it's honestly a learning lesson, you feel me? One, obviously I'm a content creator, but two, it's, it's a learning lesson, you feel me? 
watching us, you feel me, how we came and approached the game to after is going to be a learning experience for every player that's on the team, you feel me? And for those of you that are watching, if you're a younger player, if you're young and, you know, you're in high school or you're in middle school or something playing, bro, you feel me? All that rah-rah, all that talking and stuff like that, bro, sometimes when it's time to perform, God got ways of opening up your eyes. And that's what today was. It was an eye-opener, you feel me? We could have every excuse in the world. We could say, oh, yeah, we never had a scrimmage, no nothing. We barely started tackling. We barely put on pass two weeks ago. Yeah, everybody wants to, you know, they want to make a bad situation better. So we, we tell ourselves good things. But at the end of the day, shit, everything feels bad. We played bad, you feel me, overall on, on both sides. There was some good things. Don't get it twisted. I'm not, I'm not trying to say there was no good things, you feel me. Even on my part, you know, there was some good things I did. There was some bad things I did. I messed up too as well, you feel me. But... It's a learning experience. That's that's what people got to understand, and they got to learn, bro. Like, it's a learning experience, you feel me? And, and a side note, a side note, a lot of y'all from Eli was talking, man. A lot of y'all was talking, bro. And you know what I'm saying? It's respect to y'all. Y'all whooped our ass. But a lot of y'all was talking to me, saying little things. I heard y'all, but I wasn't paying y'all no mind. Talking about YouTube this, YouTube that. By the end of the day, I ain't tripping anyway, because you feel me? I'm the one getting paid. You're not. You feel me? So... At the end of the day, I look at it all as fans anyway, man. All of y'all knew who I was. I didn't know who y'all was. So, you feel me? It's all love at the end of the day. You feel me? Y'all did y'all thing. And, you know, that's what it is, man. We, we really learned. And so this upcoming week, man, we're going to have to make some adjustments. What defines a real man is even, you know, it's easy when you winning to show your wins and show your wins and show how good you're doing and all this stuff. But when you lose... That's what really defines a man, man. If a man can up, own up to his mistakes, own up to, to his loss, and take it with his chin up and adjust the next week, that's what defines a real man. So, of course, I'm still going to post it. Of course, I'm still going to give out content no matter how bad we lose, even if I play super bad, horrible, whatever, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm doing this for y'all. I, I want you guys to be able to go through my experience, but learn. You know what I'm saying? Learn from things that, I, you know, I'm not the smartest person in the world. I'm not the most wise, but just learn, bro. Learn from, from what you see to me, man. This is why I love football, y'all. Like, real talk, you know what I'm saying? Football is one of those sports that teaches you lessons. Teach you lessons about life. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you feel me? You need to ask, what, not even just in football, just in life in general, to make you wake up, to make you get on track. So, hopefully, you know, Everybody comes locked in um, next week. You feel me? Locked in and ready to go. We got a home game in Santa Monica, so we had our crib. But, Brody, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, at the end of the day, I, I'm going to be true to it, man, and post post everything, mess-ups, not just when we win, man, because it's easy. When we win in, bro, it's easy. You feel me? It, may, it makes everybody feel like, when you win, and it's easy to post about that. It's easy to post all the all the victories, but the but the failures and the mess ups and all of that, bro. People don't want to be posting that. So, like I said, that's my reason in posting this, just so we can learn from it. And it's real. At the end of the day, that's what real life is, man. If I was just posting, you know, every time we win, and that's that's all it was. You feel me? Then it wouldn't be real life. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to keep it as real and pure as possible. You know what I'm saying? So, for like I said, for those of y'all as young, y'all going to wake up and realize in life that you're not always going to win. You're not always going to do well. You're going to have mess ups. You're going you to do things bad. You know what I'm saying? And so, I learned my lessons. I seen what I got to work on. And that's just that. We just got to keep on going, man. Like I said, as a man, you're going to have times where, you know, you get hit in the mouth. You get hit in the chin. Got hitting the chin today. So, Eli, hats off to y'all. Salutes to y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you feel me? We all in this Juco stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? I want to see everybody get out and be successful. It's just I didn't want y'all to be successful when we was playing y'all and all of that, man. And like I said, bro, I'm tired, y'all. I'm, I'm about to get in here and get some food, man. About to get some wing stop, man. I got to get some wing stop after the game, bro. Got to hit that. And, uh, man, we back at it again next week, man. All right, y'all, boys. So it's like, honestly, a whole day later now. You feel me? I realized I didn't even film my outro to this video, but uh, the stats was posted for the game. I ended up having five tackles, four solo, one assist. 
And obviously, individual efforts do not matter if we lost. So we lost. We took an L. But it's time to regroup. Uh, watch the film. I see what I did wrong. I see what I need to work on. We're about to get after it this upcoming week against Santa Monica College. That's our next game, man. You take your L with your chin up and keep on moving. That's all you can do. Um, I love y'all so much, man. We're going to keep on grinding, keep on showing, keep on going crazy. And um, leave a like down below. Scott Champion, new. Follow me on IG, and we out, dog.